Hi everybody, Sandy here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Fun Friday. This week we're going to see how much I can get done in decorating this album. This is the um, album that I made following cameras. Country Craft Creations December Daily 2023 tutorial, which I will link everything down below so that you can make one on your own. I did use different papers than she did. Uh, she had a kit that she sold in her store for this, which is no longer available, but you can still make the album following her tutorial and using your own papers like I did. So um, I'm going to do the decorating and uh, we'll get started here in just a bit. I don't know how much I'll get done today. I don't want to uh, have a really long video. See what we can get done in about 30, maybe 45 minutes or so and see what I can accomplish here. And uh, here before we get started, I want to ask if you have not subscribed to my channel that you do so. Uh, if you look down here below, there's a tiny little heart. You can click on that. That gives you the link to subscribe. Also, there's a subscribe button down below uh, around the description of the video. If you'll go ahead and subscribe and then also click that bell, then you'll be notified of my videos every time I upload one. So I try to do one at least once a week, and especially here on Fun Friday, we try to do some little something. So I would love for you to subscribe to my channel to help my channel grow and give me a thumbs up. That also helps. And be sure and share with your friends so that they know um, that I'm creating and stuff like that. And I do design for Country Craft Creations, so I'd love for you to check them out as well. So here on the front, I haven't decided yet, the original, in the original tutorial by Tamara, she did do a shaker here on the front. But I love this little image, and I wanted all of this. So I think I'm going to do flowers and things. I'm not going to do a shaker here, but I am going to do a shaker here on the inside. And I want to uh, go over that with you real quick. Now, I have not used these before. I got picked these up from Country Craft Creations. This is the shaker cover in the four by five and a quarter inch rectangles, and you get five to a pack. And so I cut my background sheet that I want to use with this little girl to be four and five and a quarter so that it fits right inside this shaker cover. So these are really, really awesome uh, to help you make. And they're designed to be used on cards so that they're the size of a card. But you can also use them in your album. I think that's going to look really cute there. And I have, I have some different shaker bits. Here, I have the pretty pink and the green with the reindeer and the gold. So, I'm going to open these up right quick. I need to get me a little dish to put my bits in here while I'm working on it. And then I can seal them back up. Let's see. Ouch. <laughs> Pass some staples in there because I don't think it's a Ziploc bag. These I did get from Country Craft Creations. This is a 28 Lilac Lane by Buttons and Galore, the premium sequins. And these were the um, reindeer. Because I got them around, you know, Christmas time. So they're probably not available anymore. But she does have sequins all the time in the store. So you can, you know, check it all out and see what there is available. So I'm going to just take my scissors and... Cut that, and I'm going to dump all these guys. Whoa, there's a lot of them. So I'll have to repackage. Those are pretty, aren't they? Lay that aside. Yep. Lots of pretty sparkles. This one I'm going to leave in the little bag, I think. Me and sequins, they always stick to me. <laughs> this one's going to have to have a little... Ziploc bag too. This one's also by Buttons Glore. It's called Coral Coast. Uh, this is just some really pretty pink and gold and clear. I thought they would be pretty. And they're called Spring Sparklets. So yeah, those are really pretty. So you want to check those out. What she has different things available right now on the CountryCraftCreations.com website. Okay, so this is hazy looking because it has a protective seal. On it and I'm gonna go ahead and peel that off I was debating about leaving it on until it was all assembled but then I don't think there's a way to 
you know, get it off later. So let's see what I can use here. This is what takes up so much time. Should have already, whoop, should have already peeled it off. So it's just a thin film. And so when it comes off, it's clean. And so I cut her out. Um, I am going to use score tape because glue doesn't work really well. So let me see what size. I think I've got a quarter inch that should work good. So I'm going to put score tape here on the, let me move my mat here. There we go. On the back. Let's see the back or the front. Back. <laughs> This goes in and this wraps around. On the back of the image, on all four corners. I'm putting my tape. And these waffle shaker covers come in all shapes and sizes. I'm not sure what else in the online store at Country Craft Creations. You can check it out. Um, she does get them in quite often. And they're called, this Waffle Flower is the company. And I think there's a category on the Country Craft Creations website that you can just click on that. And, um, you know, find what you need for that. So, okay. We're going to Position her inside there. So you see we have the tape on the back. Now you're going to leave one side open to put your bits and shaker things in. So we're going to take it off the sides and the bottom here. The tape backing. So we can seal up this little clear pouch. Okay. So let's cover that all down, and you can burnish that down. They are kind of scored and already mitered on the corners to make this really easy for you. Okay, just like that. And like I said, we leave this other one open. Because now we have a pouch that we can add our goodies into. So I'm going to grab some of this that I've already dumped out. And I think you can put quite a bit. Make sure I get some reindeers, a lot of the green. And I want some of the pink in there. What do you think? I think that's good. Maybe a couple of more reindeer or something. Maybe a little more pink. I like that pink. Okay. So I'll clear it, clean it off the plastic here. So there it is. And then you go ahead, take the backing off this top edge and seal it up. Now that is just so easy peasy there. <laughs> For a shaker. Awesome. So you got your image in there, your shaker bits going on. Very cute. Very, very cute. So now I'm ready to put it on the book here. So I'm going to put it about right there. I'm going to use both score tape. I'm going to grab my wider, my 3 8 inch, and probably glue because I want to make sure it's really secure. So let's put some tape on the, the back here. Right along the edge. So yeah, if you haven't uh, had any of these, this waffle, this is my first time. I really like it. I can see doing cards, really quick edge-to-edge -edge cards that you could do to mail. Yeah, a lot of fun. And kids love shakers. So if you're doing birthday cards or something, you know, the kids really, really love shakers. 
some fun birthday cards. So anyway, today's Friday. I hope you have a lot of plans. A lot of the Country Craft Creations people, crafters that follow the group on Facebook, which, by the way, if you're not a member of the Scrapbookers or Country Craft Creations, you can join on Facebook. You do have to answer three questions when you ask to request to join. Otherwise, you won't be approved. So you must. That's very important that you uh, answer those questions to get approval to join Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations on Facebook. Then you see all the links to the tutorial. I forgot to put glue on. Oh, well. <laughs> I think it'll be okay. I was talking. Um, designers for Country Craft Creations put links and new products are shown because Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations is the Facebook social group for the store, Country Craft Creations. So you can't share other store products or things from other stores because it is for country craft creations of course but you know it's a lot of fun to be in the group so you can join but you do have to answer those questions or you won't be approved um anyway they are on a retreat this weekend in utah uh i think it's a murder mystery 1950s murder mystery retreat where they're doing all kinds of projects and having lots of great fun. So a lot of them there this weekend, and I hope they're having a great time. So anyway, let's get busy uh, doing some decorating on the inside, and I'll clean up my sequins and stuff a little bit. Um, I have here these trees I think I will use on the probably front maybe. I love sisal trees on my fronts of albums. Oh, I've got sequins on me. I try to get rid of those. <laughs> so I'm going to save that. I have some of the chipboard stickers from the collection. This is the Prima's Candy Cane Lane that um, was available before Christmas in 2022. So I don't know if any of this collection is available still. Um, I don't think so at Country Craft Creations. I don't know if it is anywhere else, but anyway. So I have the chipboard sticker set. I have a bunch of cut apart some things that I did. Plus he cut some pieces of paper. So I'm going to see what all I can do to kind of decorate. So this was my first priority right here because we just did it. So I need to kind of jazz it up some. So I'm trying to think what I could do to um, decorate it up. So let me think a bit, and then I'll come back. Okay, so I've been laying some things around. I haven't attached anything down to see what I like. I have these sparkly poinsettias and some crystal snowflakes here. I'm going to glue down here on the bottom. So I went to my Christmas boxes of stuff that I keep as a stash. And I'm like, okay, I like that and that. So I'm going to glue that snowflake there. I'm going to glue one here, matching one at the top. They are clear, and I'm using art glitter glue that should dry clear. I don't have a problem with that. Um, these are, it's a big snowflake. I think it's a sticker, but I'm not sure. I'm just going to put glue on it. <laughs> I cut a big one in half. I just wanted a half. So I'm putting glue on the back. And I'm just going to kind of tuck it here on the side, like right there. And I have this really pretty green because of the green in the shaker gemstone in my stash. So I'm going to put that kind of here on the center of that snowflake right there. Okay. Same thing down here. Put it right about here. And then the gemstone's going to go right in here. Just put the glue on that. That would be easier. Okay. Then the flowers. Now, they have foam on them. I don't know if they'll stick. Okay, I'm going to put just put glue on the foam. That helps to kind of lift them up a little bit. And put that right there. A little bit of it goes over the shaker.
and then this one here. Okay, I think that looks really pretty. I thought about putting ribbon around it and something, and I'm like, no, I'm just going to leave it like that and put some elements around it. So let's do a backup here to this. I've got a bowl underneath holding my book up. Uh, back up to this, uh, we need a cut apart or something on this. So that says Christmas Eve. I don't want that at the front. Merry Christmas. That's kind of cute. Got the reindeer. I don't want the girl again. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Okay, I like that one. So I'm going to put that on there. I'll try to speed things up. Now, I won't be doing the tags today. That'll probably be next week. I'll get as much decorating done today as I can, and then next week we'll do the tags and finish up the album. So now we have that, and I'm thinking it needs something on each corner. Make sure I'm not crooked here. I get to talk in. I don't pay attention. There we go. Straighten everybody up. So, let me see what we've got in here. I've got some red. There's another green one, but I should plan these a little bit better, huh? I like that paper clip. Let's see if that's got a red paper clip right there that makes it look like it's holding that down. Okay, so I'm going to come back to that with the gemstones see what i find and they need some red or green i don't see any in my box here so we've got that open this up and see what we've got inside okay so this pops up so we need some of these let's use some of our my chipboard pieces here so that opens like that and that folds down Okay, got Santa here, okay, like that. I'm going to try not to think about it a whole lot, just get everything done. Santa right there, because you leave a place there for photo. Santa and... I'm going to put a couple of packages, I think. Got a little blue one here. These are stickers, so I have to peel the paper off of them. But I still put glue on them because I'm going to make sure they don't come loose. So I've got this little package. And then I have a pink one. Put those right there. I think that looks cute. Is there anything else I want to go with those? Probably not, I think. You know what? I like a little nutcracker. Let's see about him. Okay. Okay, so that just folds up. There we go. Holds up and out like that. Okay, so that ties up. So I think that's enough for that side. Like I said, I'll look for some red or green gemstones. For this little cut apart here, I'm going to move on to another page here. I'm going to lift this up. Let's look in here. The paper is just so pretty. I just, you know, I just don't think you need a whole lot of, <laughs> whole lot of decorating. I like this. Dear Santa, see these can go, dear Santa, can go like in that pocket there even, or if I have another small pocket. So these don't have pockets. See, I like to leave it so that you can put photos if you want. So I'm just going to leave those plain right now. I just think we don't need to put a whole bunch in there until I know what we're doing with photos. Now, I do have these numbers that I'm going to be adding in. Um, like, you know, the, the days of Christmas, the one, two, three, 
Um, let me grab that real quick. Let's see here. I just picked these up there. They're small, but they're like little stickers and numbers, and they're gold, and I really like those. So those are going to be going in the book, but probably not until I know which pages I need for which days. So I'm just going to put those right there so I don't lose them. And then I'm going to fold this over, and we're going to see what we can put here. We got a small... Will we cut apart or not? We have fa la 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 la. Which is this? Okay, that's a pocket right there. I'm going to put that on there. But before I do that, I'm going to add a paper clip. And I want a red one. Even though I'm going to glue this down, because that's a pocket. That's not a lift up. I'm going to glue the file a lot down, but I'm going to glue it with the paper clip on. Just going to kind of put it right there so it looks like it's attached with the paper clip. Glue that on. And... Merry Christmas to you. Okay, we got that. All the chipboard stickers. I'm just going to put it right here on the bottom. Merry Christmas to you. So that lifts up. We've got these little photo mats in here. And then that's a tag. So I'm going to punch a hole in this. Let's see. I think I want to put one of these on there. So I punched a little circle out of a pink candy. I'm going to glue that to the top of this tag. Let me get back in the frame here. Right there. It's cute. And I'm going to punch a hole. In the center. And that's going to go right there. I think I'm going to round these corners though. With maybe the quarter inch. This was a little tag cut out of the paper. So it's got the small dots. That's going to go right in there. And then I need to tie some kind of ribbon on it or something. I have some red rickrack. I don't know if that's too big or not. Let me see. I'll go in just to give it a pop of color here. Gonna loop it. And then kind of trim the end a little bit. Cute. So that goes in right there. So I think for that right now, that's good. And here we got the pockets here. We've got the Santa. Did I say? We've got that Santa. <laughs> Santa ran away. <laughs> Santa disappeared. I didn't use them already, did I? No. This is what happens. Everything gets all moved around well 
I'll find him in a bit and we'll put him in there if we have to. So this frame is like this. I don't know if I want something else on it. Um, got the joy, got a Christmas tree. So this lifts up because I added a magnet and these all flip up and out like that. So I'm just going to kind of leave the paper, let the paper do the, do it. I just want to add a little bit here and there. Oh, there's Santa. Dear Santa. I like dear Santa. I'm going to put him right there for now. Unless I find another pocket, I'll like him in better. <laughs> so here, let's see. We've got Joy. We've got Merry Christmas. I like the Merry Christmas. And it is chipboard. And I'm going to put it up here at the top of the frame. And I like that. We've got Merry Christmas and we got Joy. So I like that. I'm going to leave that for now. Bring this over. Oh, there's where Santa's thing goes. <laughs> Flip this open. I really like that in there. Dear Santa. I'm going to put him right there for now. So there's really not much that I could need to put on that page. Um, there's a big Santa. There's a Santa sticker here I like. Put some glue on that. Okay. My time's ticking away. I'm going to put him right there. Happy holidays to you. Holly, Jolly, and Mary. Okay, just like that. So just a little bit of stuff here and there. I've got flowers I could add in maybe. As long as it doesn't um, affect anything too much. I don't think we need one there. There's a magnet on it. But I can add that in between some pages if I choose just to decorate those up. So let's see what we want to put on this. This these need something here. So let's see what kind of cut of parts we've got. We've got ho 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 with a fake paper clip. We've got her. She's too long. And it says cute in the pocket. It's so cute, so sweet. I'm going to put that there on the bottom, I believe, like that. So this is all just cut out of the paper. The paper collection that I have. So I'm just going to add that little sweet reindeer right there. And a merry ho 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 to you. at the top. So this is from another collection, but it matches that right there, and that can just tuck in there, merry and bright. I like that, like that. Just adding, add some stuff in. I'm going to put that one there. This is where I will put some tags in also here. I've got, I've got some that have already been put in that I made. So see that like that. Let's 
So I may make some tags for that. Um, that, still want to put something here. Merry Christmas. Kind of like this tree. Look at that right there. Got a tree. It's kind of add a little dimension and sparkle there to it. So flip this over and this. So this I could leave plain for something or clip a piece of paper in. This is very pretty like that. So I think I'm going to grab a paper clip. I have a white one here. And I'm just going to clip that in for now. And see if I have another piece that I want to clip in there. Yep. No, too big. <laughs> it's Christmas Eve. I like that one, I think. So it's kind of got a funky round top because I hand cut it. So I'm going to grab a bit of the crinkled seam binding I have. I'm going to add that to the top. It's just another Santa. I'm just going to clip him right there like that. Then, of course, there's room for pictures and everything there. So this one, we have a frame. I'll move this down now. That I added a frame. Of course, that unties and everything. So I'm going to look at my chipboard stickers. I love Rudolph. we got a Rudolph here. I'm just going to put glue on the right there. I'm going to attach Rudolph there with the ribbon. And then the stickers had a sweet Rudolph sentiment here. Okay, sweet sentiments, Rudolph. Okay. So there's that, like that, kind of like that. Is there another one I want? We've got different candies. I like the candies. There's the red one. The pink one. And another red. And oops, this one will get pretty. I'm going to cut another snowflake right in half. They've got just a little bit of glitter on them. I don't remember where I picked them up, but you know, after Christmas, sometimes I go and look and see what's what's on sale at different places. I'm going to put that one right there. <laughs> That's one of my glitter bits. I gotta stop and clean these up. These guys are getting everywhere. Got some right here in my on my snowflake. I don't want that one. Now sometimes sequins are pretty glued onto a page. Okay, right there. Where's my other snowflake? Half. I'm gonna put half. No, that's going to stick out on Rudolph there. You know what? This one's a little wide. I'm going to put this shorter one on. I think it's shorter. It looks shorter to me. And just have this part sticking out right here. 
Yeah, that works a little better. I want <laughs> sequins on it or not. I'm going to trim this one down. So it doesn't stick out as far. I think I'm going to put it right in there with Rudolph. Okay. Right in there. Make sure it doesn't hinder where it folds there. Okay, so this opens up. Folds out. And we have places for photos. So again, I'm just going to leave those for right now. Don't think I need to decorate those up a lot. And I'm tying the bow over here to the left. More like that. Okay. So there's that. So now we have these pockets to decorate. These have mats in them. So this needs a cut apart of some, some sort. I like that. Christmas list. I can put him there and then come back with maybe some flat back red or green sequins or something. Christmas list. And then do we want but be careful you don't want anything hanging on that. So I think I'm gonna wait and see on that one. It opens up so we have a place here for some cards. This is from a different collection. This is the Be Merry. Holiday cheer. You can put a photo back there too if you want to. And that's just some little stamps and things. So kind of like that, like that. Something on this right here. Poinsettia. And another glue, guys. Almost time to grab a new bottle. Put that right there. And then I have a pink one. And I'm going to put it on a foam square to kind of lift it just a little bit. Like that. So this could be a photo mat if I have something I want to put on there. That's kind of kind of big. I don't know if I want to cover it that much. I'm gonna wait on that. That paper is just so pretty. Put a photo right there. I think I'm going to well, that stub punched much. <laughs> Let's see what that looks like. That kind of makes it show you that it's different from the page. Okay, I'm gonna put that on there. Like I said, I don't like to think, have to think too terribly much. Drop it down below these little reindeers because they're cute. Okay, like that. And then do I have any kind of saying I want to put on there? Or image? It's a joy. Okay, so there's that one. Just got a few more to go. So this one already had a decorations on the frame. I did add this frame. I don't think I did that on camera. But I think, let's see, I'm going to add maybe something into it. It's a little big. That won't work. Okay. 
Got the little reindeer. Let's see what that looks like. Because I'm kind of want to bring in the elements of this collection, the candy can lane in with that. That's a simple stories frame. So I'm going to put this little bow right here. That's kind of cute like that. And again, these on the inside, I think I'm going to leave them plain for now. So this is my magnet piece here that I made. Got double magnets on this one. Got this cut apart. And I was thinking about some Zettas or something on here. Kind of like that. I have another one. Sparkly here. The small one with it. Do I have another small one? Or maybe a snowflake. Let's see what that looks like. Kind of pretty, like that. Oh, I like that. So I'm going to put this snowflake down. Kind of goes underneath that piece just a little bit. And then the flower. Put that one there. I like it there. And remember, we got to do the cover. So how long have we been going? We've been going a long time. So I think for today, we're going to stop here. I may do a little bit off camera. I don't know. And then next week, we will finish the whole thing up. Any details, we'll do the cover and some tags and things. So next week. So we'll be finishing it up. So check the links down below for the uh, tutorial by Tamara for the December Daily 2023. Uh, if you want to be making one for yourself so they'll have it ready for this for December. I know it's May now. It's kind of seem weird to be working on Christmas, but it's a great time to get some things done ahead of time. And... Um, you know, get some decorating done. Little veil is cute right there. Don't know. <laughs> I keep finding things I like. I may put it on the cover. But I may put it here. Um, you know, when you're not stressed with Christmas and you can take your time and make something fun, it's a lot of fun to do that. Now, and you don't have to be stressing about it at christmas time so anyway check back with me next week thank you so much for joining me for fun friday be sure to check out countrycraftcreations.com for your crafting supplies subscribe and give me a, a like if you have the time i really appreciate it and i'll see you next week Bye bye